there any way out of this impasse created by man himself? All of us, and particularly those who are responsible for the attitude of the U.S. and the U.S.S.R., should realize that we may have vanquished an external enemy, but have been incapable of getting rid of the mentality created by war. It is impossible to achieve peace as long as every single action is taken with a possible future conflict in view. This is the formula which summarized Einstein's theory of relativity, a theory which gained him a Nobel Prize. Einstein took mass, or the atomic weight of a substance, and the speed of light, which is constant, and expressed their relation to energy in a simple equation. E equals mc squared. The key to the atom's secrets was first given to the world in 1905, when the genius Albert Einstein defined the relation between all matter and energy and evolved his revolutionary theory of special relativity. Then, encouraged by their successful progress, Szilard discussed with Dr. Einstein in the summer of 1939 the results of their findings and stressed the urgent need for action by the U.S. government. Conscious of the disaster which would inevitably follow if Nazi Germany should be the first to succeed in releasing atomic energy, Dr. Einstein decided to write a personal letter to the president. From Princeton, New Jersey, the Emergency Committee of Atomic Scientists, headed by Dr. Einstein, has issued an urgent appeal for funds with which to educate the public. Uh, we scientists who release this immense power have overwhelming responsibility in this world life and death struggle to harness atom. We ask your help in this fateful moment as sign that we scientists do not stand alone. I agree. And scientists such as Albert Einstein, these years see the fullest flowering of German art and science in generations. I am glad that you have me given the opportunity of expressing to you here my deep sense of gratitude as a man, as a good European, and as a Jew. It cannot be my task today to act as judge of the conduct of a nation which for many years has considered me as her own. We are concerned not merely with the technical problem of securing and maintaining peace, but also with the important task of education and enlightenment. Without such freedom, there would have been no Shakespeare, no Goethe, no Newton, no Faraday, no pasteur and no least. Dr. Albert Einstein spoke to us. The hydrogen bomb appeared on the public horizon as a probably attainable goal. Its accelerated development has been solemnly proclaimed 
by the president. If successful, radioactive poisoning of the atmosphere and hint annihilation of any life on Earth has been brought within the range of technical possibilities. Finding it, one man would shatter most of the existing theory about matter and motion. Albert Einstein, with his theory of relativity, used time to build a new body of universal law. He enabled man to embark at last on the total adventure. At Princeton, New Jersey, Ben Gurion met with Dr. Albert Einstein. Ben Gurion, recently voted back into office in Israel, forecast peace in the Near East despite border clashes. 